Hey everybody, we're back again. Uh, we hit over 100 subscribers. Thank you very much. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, keep sharing my videos and uh, keep sharing uh, my page with your friends. And hopefully we can grow this page uh, pretty fast. Uh, I really enjoy making these videos. They take a lot of work. Uh, they take a lot of time, especially after work, trying to make these videos. But I really enjoy it. Uh, I like sharing some of the things that I've learned over my years of fishing with you guys. That way you guys can uh, apply these things to what you do uh, day in and day out on the water. Uh, with that said, we're going to talk about something that I think is very overlooked in tournament fishing. And you don't hear a lot of guys talk about. Everybody talks about uh, preparation, but they only talk about preparation in pre-fishing, uh, preparation in uh, your tackle, preparation in your line, your rods, things like that. But uh, they don't talk about one of the biggest and most important things that can help you be a successful bass angler and uh, keep you on the water all the time. And that is being prepared uh, for things to break. Uh, being prepared, um, just having your equipment prepared. Uh, so making sure you take care of your stuff, uh, making sure you have tools to fix it, making sure you have parts to fix it, making sure you know where to get parts to fix things. Uh, all these things are very important. Uh, this video is going to be relatively short. Uh, I just want to uh, bring this up and uh, make everyone aware that this is a really big part of tournament fishing that I don't think a lot of guys talk about. Uh, and I think it's one of the most important things uh, when it comes to tournament fishing and traveling across the country. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I really appreciate you watching again, and uh, let's get into it. So like I said, we're going to be talking about uh, preparation of your equipment, making sure you um, have the right stuff, uh, tools, things like that when you go out of town. Uh, in my opinion, this is probably one of the most important things. If you uh, don't know how to fix your equipment uh, or um, you don't know how to, you know, you're not very mechanical, you don't know how to use tools, things like that, knowing where a good repair shop is, uh, knowing where a good mercury technician or whatever motor you have is, uh, knowing where to get uh, parts, knowing where hardware stores are, um, knowing somebody who can, you know, replace a trailer bearing for you, uh, having AAA, things like that are very, very, very important uh, if you're not uh, the most mechanical person ever. With that said, if you are very mechanical and you know how to fix things and you're, you know, good with tools, things like that, uh, making sure you have a good socket set, making sure you have ratchets, um, butt connectors, uh, anything for electrical wiring, um, you could even have extra chargers. I actually carry a complete um, like axle end for a torsion uh, axle for my bass cat. Uh, so that way, if I have a hub go out when I'm traveling down the road, it's three bolts. It's one bolt to actually uh, hold it onto the spindle, uh, and then it is uh, two bolts or two screws, whatever you want to call them, it doesn't really matter. Connectors for the brakes, and that's it. Uh, make sure you have the right sockets to do that. Um, for example, my buddy Grant and I, uh, we were going up to the College National Championship. This is a perfect example where being prepared is important. Uh, we were going up there. I actually had bought the hub, um, the entire um, assembled hub unit uh, with the axle there, and uh, we were heading up there, and I happened to look in the mirror when we were driving up in New York and uh, my tire was going way up over the boat, smoking, things like that. Uh, it didn't even smoke as, you know, as we were driving down the road. Uh, it was a complete failure. I lost the tire. I lost the wheel. Uh, I lost my lug nuts, uh, things like that. So I lost the whole thing. So luckily I had that extra um, axle end hub assembly and we actually uh pulled off the side of the road looked at what we had to do i realized that i didn't have a right size socket luckily with uh you can either strap your axle up if you uh have leaf springs or with the torsion uh axles you can uh, you actually just you don't really have to do anything so we um uh, actually trailered it up to the nearest home depot which luckily was one exit south of there so we turned around went south went to the home depot 
uh, got the right socket, got it off, um, and then we actually went and got lug nuts at the nearest hardware store. Uh, got those lug nuts. Uh, luckily, a friend of ours was heading north, uh, Hunter Fillmore. Uh, he actually um, picked my buddy up, took him while I was uh, taking the old, the uh, ruined axle end off, and uh, took him to the nearest hardware store and got us those uh, lug nuts, brought them back, which that's one thing we didn't think about was lug nuts. Now I know. I'll actually always have an extra set of lug nuts now. Uh, but he uh, brought those back. We were back on the road in about an hour and a half. So uh, a lot of guys can't say that uh, they've lost a trailer bearing and got back on the road an hour and a half. So uh, we were back on the road about an hour and a half, uh, had all of our tools, and now I know exactly what I need for everything. Should I have been a little bit more prepared and had everything already, and we'd have been back on the road even quicker? Yeah, but it's how it goes. So uh, you live and learn, and uh, this is just one example of where having the right stuff um, and having the ability to actually change something like that and having uh, the tools and having um, the actual part, which was uh, the extra hub assembly I had, uh, was very key in keeping us on the road and getting us to where we needed to be quickly, not being stranded for a couple of days and losing practice time. Uh, that's just one example. I mean, I could keep going on and on and on with examples of times where I've had to fix electronics in parking lots, where we've had to fix trolling motors, where we've had to, uh, you know, I've had to fix electronics on Lake Erie in three foot waves. Like it's, it's something that uh, is very important for us as bass fishermen to learn if we don't know is to work on our equipment uh, and to know how to maintenance it, whether that's uh, tighten all your bolts when you're in rough, after you're in rough water, whether that's uh, make sure you have the right air pressure in your tires, make sure you uh, keep your stuff clean. Uh, it's very, very important to help not spread invasive species. It's also very, very important uh, just to keep your equipment in good shape, make it last longer, uh, helps your gel coat, um, helps your trailer uh, up in the north. Whether we like it or not, even in the summer, there's probably still some leftover salt. You're going to get a little bit of rust on your trailer eventually. Uh, so you got to take care of your stuff. Uh, take care of your lower unit, you know, change your lower unit oil, uh, make sure you change your uh, outboard engine oil if you have four stroke on time. Uh, just maintenance 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 uh knowing how to fix things um, and i can say this again is uh, i personally keep a full tool set in my boat i keep a, a pry bar i keep a full set of sockets i keep uh, ratchets i keep wrenches i keep vice or uh, uh channel locks i keep um Butt connectors, uh, electrical tape, dielectric grease, a um, actual propane, not propane, but a little like lighter that uh, heat shrink on butt connectors. Uh, I keep all that stuff in my boat at all times uh, and it saved me more times than I can count uh, and it keeps me on the water and keeps me fishing. Uh, no matter what the circumstances are. So I know this is a short video. I know I'm kind of rambling. I'll probably cut out a lot of this, but uh, just wanted to say, uh, even though it's a short video, this is probably the most overlooked thing in bass fishing. Very important video. Keep your stuff maintenance. Take care of your stuff and make sure you're prepared. And I don't mean prepared to fish, I mean prepared to fix things, prepared to know how to do your maintenance. Uh, prepared with the right tools all right guys thank you for watching again i hope you really liked the video i know it was short uh, but it was something that i felt was really important that i needed to uh, get out there to everyone uh, and i feel like a lot of people will really really uh, think about this when they're going into the tournament season making sure they have their stuff ready for the season uh, it's something i take care of all winter luckily in ohio our season isn't as long or all year like some of the guys down south where they have to maintenance all year long we actually have a pretty good off portion where we can take care of our stuff uh, and make sure things are prepared going into the next season that's what i do take care of my stuff all winter uh, i take care of myself all summer 
but some of the stuff that I can't do uh, in the summer, I do in the winter. I like change bushings on power poles, things like that. I don't have time to do in the summer. I uh, get them by, fix them in the winter, and make sure that my stuff's ready to go for this season. So as you're coming into the spring, make sure you have your stuff ready. Make sure you have the right tools in your truck, in your boat, uh, and make sure that you are prepared with extra parts or what you're going to need when you're on the road. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, please subscribe.